was good, YouTube. This your boy, Mr. Shadow. Back here with another skip video for y'all, the fans. Um, it's gonna be nothing major, but um, no sense of y'all. It's the top five things. Session, uh, session players like in the game. Yeah, last night if you check out my video, the five things that people hate about session session players hate as a game. Make sure you check it out right now in the description below. And some people said the quality was off, so. I'm gonna try my best and hope it's um, good now because I'm not 100% sure why. But hoping it's good. Um, hope it is good. Before we do that, I'm gonna. Not very quick. Hope y'all hear me. Hope y'all hear me good. So, um, I'm gonna change the audio down a little bit. Um, I'm gonna turn down the center face a little bit so I hope y'all can hear me better. Let's get real quick. Oh, y'all yeah, can hear me still? Oh, yeah, you hear me good? Okay. There oh. it goes. <clears throat> I'm scanning around. I'm, uh, losing spots for y'all. You know, there's nothing to do if you like my session. Babes. Number one, but actually five, but um, ten out of one, is the game is very realistic. You know, the people who like realistic game like I do, you know, really, you know, love the aspect of the game. You can control, like, your player, the board, the way you skate, the way you want. That's one of the everybody, you know, play the session game, like the game. Other thing, number two, is we like the way it don't mimic other scanning games. I know some people probably like, um, oh, in that, uh, eight, blah, blah, blah. So, most people want the game to be like Skate, even though they do got a legacy mode for it. It's just an actual Skate, a whole nother game, all of it in itself. Number three, the people do game session, like, the way, I believe, like the fluency of the game. Most people got her, you know, speak about the game a whole lot. By the way, this front smooth. How I feel like you on the skateboard itself doing real, no, life trick, life speed. And like, you can set your, you know, put the board, 
any way you want to, like, how else to escape, but you have more freedom if you don't use legacy mode and for the whole person status <coughs> of the game. Number two of these, everybody likes concussion players, like the way the soundtrack. Not every game that puts out a good soundtrack, you know, to make you know, people fall in love with the game, turn it spots. And, in my opinion, I think it's one of the best soundtracks I heard in a while from a game, personally. I think that's a big ups, you know, huge kudos to the development of first the game for selecting, you know, the perfect. Rock song, rap song, and yeah. game. I don't know if you remember how long. Um, oh, that puts me in the grind. I don't remember how Skate 3 they had Dr. John right place at the wrong time. You know, it's a good song, but I believe it don't belong in a skateboard game. Because most people, like, younger will not know that song and yeah, won't you know take it as a good song you know from um a skateboard that song like you wouldn't skateboard to that song i say it's like of the temptations game and everybody scanning the my girl <laughs> The other thing people love about Session Number one is they love the way the community and the developer like most developers like stay in contact with the players of the game. Like you know how most companies like EA, 2K after the recent game, don't get back, or they might like do something on the forums and don't they show social media. And the game is like completely broken. People like how like they upphone you and everything that people complain about, most stuff they hear are you know disagreements and agreements that we want to see in the game. It's a huge plus that everybody that really like about session. It's a game made for skaters for the skaters. And we'll take like a little bit of topics in the rest of the video of the five things you hate about skate. You hate the lagging. That's one main thing everybody hate lag and the frame rate and my head's gonna do with icebox also the fourth thing you really hate is how the game crash a whole lot not for me but some other people I heard crash a whole lot so that can be very frustrating and upsetting the third thing people hate both session the pavers is how the board gets stuck in the middle of the ground and it be glitched like well all around like it gets stuck in the ground they like it go for a bit drop or oh, not even a bit drop sometimes and you see the right right then if I try right up that um little slope or I'm not used stuck in the ground the second thing people hate is sometimes you can't control your player all the way on the board itself. So if you go down on like a slope, so if you go up, you try to go back down, like without well, doing nothing. And when you go down the ramp, sometimes you can't control your person. And say so like if you are a goofy person, 
yeah, switch to the uh, regular stand, like for your Audis and stuff. Just to try to Audi out or kick flip out. But like in the animation, you can't do nothing. At the end, switch to the stand for it. It happened more often as well, so I'll be right there. And no one thing people have a session is, is throws and toxic players. You hey, say like if this legacy mode came out, right? People expect like myself who prefer to play on hardcore settings or the, the original settings of the game. So some people say it was too hard. Some people say it's like they want to like skate. So I see people bashing people for playing on legacy. And I see people bashing people for um like doing this certain trick in the game and stuff like that. Like me personally, like people who watch my videos know for a fact no, I'm a naughty person. And I do service the most. Like the way I skate in the game is how fresh in real life like so much. And people do take that some in the community take that like, overboard. You shouldn't be judging like new I can't say new skaters, but the way certain people skate in the game, they might have to skate in real life. And they probably want something like basic, so they can learn and you know, develop more in time. Other than people like us, like who more advanced to controls and like rather use our triggers, the legacy mode. Like we don't want to tease people or like bash them on how they play the game. It's not like we all should stick together. And, you know, trying to stand to be better at the game, like we are. Like an advanced way. And the other thing, a bonus that people really do hate a whole lot is some drops you take it's still who like the board falls to the ground. Some drops and some tricks that you take if you go for like a off a um, ledge or whatever, or a container of the trailer, and it might say a bear drop, you know that you can enable it, enable it. But when you go down for a bear drop, your board do not automatically go to the ground. That's one thing, you don't just cut the ground. I know you can enable this table. Um, bear drop mode. I think the main gripe is people, most people can't attend to land certain tricks. Like a simple ollie, and they can't, you know. But they land on the board perfect, like in the middle. In the, uh. No. In the nose, in the back of the board. But. It really don't mean nothing that much. And it's just frustrating. And that when it comes also you can't control like you can't control your play sometimes. So there are a bunch of things that the game do need to work on. Like the glitches, have more control of your player. You going uphill. Um have control of uh, like your person don't hit the smallest little ledge, like you hit like the small like the nose of your board can you hit like the smallest little anything and you easily fall off quick. So that all I had to do for perception in the game. Um, no things that you know critique on the game that people don't like. So all around personally no, hope y'all understand. That's just the pre-game, and we all get frustrated 
I used to play Tetris, not right. Some plays Rad, the um, board, Crystal Brown, or the Frame Rate be all the legs and you know, all that stuff. So that's just the pros and cons that you know people really like about the game and people dislike about the game. But all around, personally, I would still get it. Of course, we had people complaining in a session, not session, but state. XL said that felt better. And, you know, state better and all that stuff. And every single game got its faults with it. So, I was concerned of playing all game, like, when Skate 4 come out, I was concerned of buying it. You know, when Skate XL come out, I was concerned of buying it also. And, you know, checking it out and doing videos on the game. On that spot. So, you just hate people who critique, like, you know everybody complain with the legs and all this stuff, you just hate people that bash the game that's in the early development. And people don't bash the companies who release a game for like $60, the full game itself, and they have more glitches and problems than, you know, games like this. So I hope you like the video. It's your boy Mr. Sarek. Hope y'all uh, click like subscribe. And uh this will be like a little bit two minutes longer or three minutes longer. Depends on how long uh, I'm gonna think so. That's the quality of the last video. The audio was kinda off. So I'm uh make sure uh, you know came out good this time. Cross my fingers, hope we did. So this is what Mr. Sarah signed out. Come by uh dirty concert area on my channel, wrestling games, skateboard, or whatever. So make sure you guys stay tuned. More awesome content on my channel. Peace.